I thought Tyrone would take my cat. Tyrone's got my dog. I'll kill him. No, it wasn't Tyrone. Luke, what are you talking about? Do you know, he's not been right since her with the air kept smacking him with the Uber nozzle. Yeah, do you everything all right? No, it's not. Eccles has gone off in her car. Maddie and Sophie took it. Sorry? Took my cat? Sophie wouldn't do that. <laughs> she did. Well, why would they do that? Well, Maddie was driving, well, but... Of course Maddie was driving. Sophie hasn't passed the test yet. Where's Maddie? Search me. Now I have heard it all. So was Tyrone with her? No. Oh, right. I'm going to have to ring her. You know what, Luke? I've got two very short business calls to make, OK? I'm going back in that factory. On my return, I want my car here. Well, they said it was an emergency. In one piece. Do I make myself clear? I can't believe your daughter's kidnapped my dog. See you. Get out of that car right now. I am so sorry, but we can't explain. What are you playing at? Well, Mum, Eccles was hurt. We had to take her to the vets. We think she's been run over. Well, who ran her over? We don't know. Well, did you see it happen? Well, no, we just found her. So what? She just said I've been run over. Keys, now. You should have stopped this. Carla's fuming. Is she? Yes, she is. Carla, please, I am really, really sorry, but the dog was whining and I could tell she was hurt and the vet said she's been clipped by a car or something. We are really sorry, Carla. The vet said we'd done the right thing. Did he? Nick in a 20 grand car? Look, I know it looks bad, but I know how much Simon loves that dog. Look, you better get that dog back to Deirdre. She's all over the place. Oh, come on. Carla, please, I'm really sorry and there's no damage to your car. Yeah, well, Luke will take a look at it. Go on, Maddie, get out of my sight. I'm sick of looking at you. Tyrone's going to throw a fit when he finds out. Eccles! Oh, is that my baby? Oh, you brought her back. Oh, give her to me. Oh, no. What's happened to her? She hates wearing these clothes. Well, the vet thinks that she's been run over, but she should be fine. Oh, she's absolutely traumatised. She's in bits. She's going to be all right. Of course she is, mate. Yeah, she'll be fine. So, let me get this straight. You stole Carla's car so that you could take Eccles to the vet? Yeah. So which vet was it? Was it the nice one with red hair or was it the one with the eye? Um, I don't know. It was a bloke. Oh, with the teeth. Well, yeah, it might not have been one of my best decisions. What was the bill? Um, £120, but they said they'll just put it on your account. Well, I hope you get plenty of pocket money. Well, we can't afford to pay for it. She was my mother's dog, you know. She brought her a lot of pleasure. I didn't, but Eccles did. Look, it's all good. Simon's got the dog back. Happy days. Thanks so much. Oh. She's got to have these drops once a day with food. Oh, right. Did you bring me anything? My nerves are in shreds. Is that the one with the picture of the cat on it? Quite like the look of that one. Yeah, it is. There you go, love. I stuck it in the freezer for ten minutes. Oh. Do you know, I'm so embarrassed. Like, Carla's my boss. She's put all this faith in me, promoting me to PA, and then Maddie goes and ruins it all by nicking a car. Yeah, I know, but... Oh, Tim, it's a tragedy. It's a country and western song that's come to life. Oh, look, Sal, the bottom line is they saved a dog's life and some folk think that's a good thing. You all right, girls? I can't believe what you've done today. Hey, Mum, don't start. Did it say it in the Bible, thou shalt steal cars? You want a drink? Tim! What? Maddie's only 17. I can't believe you're condoning everything by offering her the nice wine with the cat on the label. I meant a brew, actually. Oh. Anyway, well. you can talk. What were you doing? Hanging around in milk bars until you were 18. You know, I have done nothing wrong today, and yet it appears that we're arguing, and now I wonder whose fault that is. Well, some parents would be chuffed their kids don't know good Samaritan number. It takes guts to do what they did today, saving a dog's life. Paul O'Grady had given them the freedom of the city. Yeah, the dog's all right. Good. Let's just hope my job is. Oh, Mum, come on. She can't give you an hard time for something you didn't do. Yeah, but when you think about it, that dog does look a bit like an oversized rat, doesn't it? Don't let Deirdre say that. Look, why don't I go over and speak to Carla? I was a right twit today, and you're going to get done for it, and that's not right. You're working late. See, this is why Mrs Connor is such a high achiever, because she puts the hours in. What do you want, Sal? 
I brought Maddie over. Yes, I can see that. I've got two functioning eyes. Well, to apologise, she's a bit mortified. Well, good. And personally speaking, I'd hate for anything that the girls did to say sabotage anything that we've got going together. We've got nothing going together. Well, I am your PA. Anyway, she wanted to say sorry. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. She can't stop saying it. She's got sorry Tourette's. Just wait for her to draw breath. Sorry. Come on, Maddie, the floor's yours. OK, um... Well... I'm... Oh, come on, just say the word. OK, yeah, you know, I'm sorry. I panicked. Yeah, well, by rights, I should have called the police over this. Yeah, I'd do the same. It's a nice motor. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. Look, when I saw that the dog was in pain, I just kept thinking of Simon. Cos he idolises Eccles. Yeah, well, you're right there. Gosh, it's so complicated, isn't it? What? It was not complicated, Sally. It's theft. I left my car in that garage in good faith, not to be squealed round every corner in Weatherfield like the Keystone Cops. I bet you went from not to 60 in three seconds, didn't you? It won't happen again, OK? It just won't. Well, I will think of some appropriate punishment then, won't I? You do mean her, don't you? <laughs>